Well, earlier we looked at the meeting that was held between ISIS and the minister. And this comes, of course, after a lot of angst. In the Northern Cape earlier, artists went on a hunger strike. Artists have been demonstrating in Bloemfontein, calling for the axing of the management of the Performing Arts Council in that province, in the Free State. And earlier in March, a group of artists staged a sit-in at the National Arts Council's uh, Johannesburg offices. They were demanding answers about a lack of payment from the Presidential Employment Stimulus Package which was about 300 million rand. The council has said that it approved too many applications and the amounts given would have to be reduced. Let's see where this is all right now. We're joined by a member of the National Arts Council, uh, Dr. Sipo Sitole. Uh, Dr. Sitole... I think uh, we still have him. Yes, we do. Dr. Satole, yes, thank I'm you here. for being with us. Great, thank you. Um, your, your response to what the minister has been saying, uh, firstly, are you involved in the disbursement of funds? And then can you respond uh, to his uh, ad admission that there's been mismanagement of funds? Firstly, I, um, as the National Arts Council, we don't speak on behalf of the Department of Arts and Culture. Uh, uh, neither do we speak on behalf of, of the minister. Uh, no, so, but, no, but can he was saying the, the money has been mismanaged. Uh, you are managing the money as, as the National Arts Council, correct? I think, yeah, if, if you put the question directly to what have we discovered as this council since we were appointed in January, yeah. then I would be able to share. Because okay, let, we let are me, as, has there yeah. been mismanagement of funds? So um, this council started um, in January this year. The presidential employment stimulus package was dealt with by the previous council, and uh, its deadline was end of December. And uh, the previous council appointed an independent panel panelist to adjudicate and present to the council all applicants. All of that work was done and completed by the 30th of December, and we arrived uh, in January, and yes, we did discover that there was mismanagement. And that is what the council set on to fix and that is what we brought to the minister, that there is, there's been mismanagement or, 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 or misadministration or maladministration of the, the approval. Yeah. Uh, the reason being that they, they approved more than their budget. Uh, but, but what about some what serious happened. claims, I don't know if you heard it earlier, from, from uh, the artist representative that we spoke to. Apparently one person on the board had several companies uh, that received millions, uh, which would then suggest uh, corruption if, uh, if other artists weren't receiving anything. Uh, I think that's not uh, correct information that we have received. There is, there is an applicant who is not a board member or associated in any way with the National Arts Council, uh, who has several uh, or different organizations that he, that had applied, where he's either the owner or or or, or uh, part of the directors of that. It is the, so. The information that you have is is not correct. It has nothing to do with a board member with several companies. Okay. Did did that person uh, through these companies get too much? Should there have been a limit, and and millions were were going to benefit one person? Um, if you allow me to, to share with you what has happened so that we are not talking about a person, we let, let, let us share with you what has been our frustration at this council. We are as equally frustrated by, uh, 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 together with the practitioners who are supposed to benefit uh, from, this, uh, from this PESP. And um, the, 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 the approval of more people than what the budget could, could accommodate is the result of the challenge and the impasse that we have faced. Um, the, yeah. the, the but, but I'm saying, was there corruption? No, there was, there was no corruption. Okay, so this, this was basically bad management, uh, uh, approving um, more applications than, than could ever be paid. Uh, so so it's, it's not nepotism, it's not corruption. Were, were any board members implicated at all? There, there are board members uh, that... There, there are board members who were applicants... Uh, who were applicants to the PSP before they even knew they were going to be um, uh, appointed to the board of, of, of the National Arts Council. And, and it, it is because they are either employees of those organizations or they are either directors, but they had applied in an open uh, uh, call for all South Africans who are practitioners. And also do remember that the National Arts Council did, does comprise of members who come from the sector. So when the call from the president came for the sector to apply, 
people would have applied, not knowing that they are going to be um, um, uh, members of the council. The question then you should be asking me is that do they declare? And the answer is absolutely yes, they did declare. Okay. And we referred to this, this matter to the minister. The minister then informed us yesterday that he took it to the state attorneys to give them a, a legal opinion about whether there was any conflict. And the report we got from the minister is that they had the equal rights to apply like any other citizen, so long as they were not there when those decisions were made. And those decisions were made end of December last year, and this council uh, 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 then took office in January. So the legal opinion was that there was no conflict of interest. All right, so there's nothing untoward there, but we still have this problem of... of applicants uh, being given uh, promises about money that, that simply wasn't there. How come there was a change, uh, new members of the National Arts Council in January? Can you explain that for us? Because you're basically saying that you and your team now are picking up the pieces of, of what went before. No, every, every four years there is a, 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 the, a call for new, new council members. So this is just in the ordinary way of, of doing things so we have just taken up tenure for the next four years. And um, uh, after four years, there will be another council. And we just hope that when we are finishing our job, there won't be any work outstanding that a new council will have to answer when they have, not, they have yeah. nothing to do with. Yeah. Right. And from our side, we've done, we've done everything we can to make sure that every approved applicant, 1,374 of those applicants, do get the grant. Uh, as opposed to, by end of December, only 613 applicants we're, we're going to get the grant and then leave out 761 uh, not getting the grant. And that is what we have sought out to fix. Okay, so you've basically said everybody will get a lesser amount. That's been contested, yes. firstly. But, but have people received the money? They, they've been saying uh, the contracts were signed, they, they waited for months. Have all the artists received the, the money that they should have? Everyone should receive the money by the end of, uh, of this month. Uh, the the na management at the National Arts Council continues to pay for uh, as soon as every art, uh, art practitioner has um, returned the contract and the contract has been signed. And uh, management has promised the council that um, when the contract has been signed, within 72 hours, uh, they would pay uh, whoever those, that contract uh, yeah. is. And I can tell you that uh, since we, we have now been receiving the contracts back, between, between yesterday and today, we have now paid in excess of, 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 of 7 million. And that gives a total of, of almost 40 million or 38 million that has been paid. Mm -hmm. But that's um, out of uh, 300 to, uh, million, 48 out of 300 yes, million. That, that, so that so is this out is of a three, very uh, slow process for artists who haven't been working for a year. Yes, but um, yes, and you are asking the right questions. Um, where, where did the slow process come? Because this council put a stop. We put a halt the moment we realized that there was mal, uh, administration and mismanagement. So we stopped the payment uh, until such time that we were able to make sure that there, there was equity and transparency and, and that every approved applicant was going to get the grant. If we had not stopped it, uh, which delayed it, as we, are, as, as we are rightly pointing out, if we had not stopped this process, uh, it means only 613 approved applicants would have been uh, uh, paid and benefited for, from this from this and partly the reason why they went over budget is that some some applicants got more money than what they had asked for we had instances we discovered instances where an applicant had required 389,000 uh, rands and get approved for 1.6 million Wow. An applicant apl applies for 400,000 and, and yeah. some change, gets and you, approved you're for 2.7 million. You're still saying there's no corruption uh, there, that, that's just uh, bad management? Yes. The, the, you're there saying was no nobody corruption. benefited from that, somebody getting more than double uh, than what they applied for? Yes, there was, there was a formula. When, when we questioned that as we came in as a new council, there was a formula that uh, was presented to us, which at the time when they they applied it in their own opinion was justified. Um, wow. National Treasury, yeah, National Treasury had given a guiding figure that said for every job created, you must pay for that job twenty five thousand rands. So you find someone applies, and knowing the market, they present a number of jobs, and the 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 panels and the the panels and the 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 ex of council then says, no, 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 no. But if you take this number of jobs and you times it by 25,000 rands, it's more than the money that we had asked for. Yeah. Uh, and the guiding figure is 25. So we're going to give you 
uh, times 25,000 rands, regardless of what you had asked for. And, and they thought that it was justified, but they just put the market uh, out of kilter because there is no way, uh, 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 let's use an example, for instance, um, um, you have a band, you have been booked to perform, so you've got a band and you've got a guitarist and a pianist. Yeah. And according to the guiding figure, at the end of the 45 minute set, you, you are then supposed to pay that pianist 25,000 rands. All right. So that is how they just blindly applied yeah. a formula without understanding that, but it is out of the going rate, you know? Yeah. And, that's what, and, and what they didn't look at the overall just, amount in, in the kitty. The, the big yes, question, they did not look at the yeah. overall amount in the kitty. And the, they kept approving and approving and approving. Which so is when incredible. They on the 30th, yeah, when they said on the 30th of December, they're like, oh, damn, we've got 1,374 approved applicants, but we can only pay 613, so we're going to pay these ones. All right, like, no, you can't do that. Yeah. And that's when you, you and your team came in and said all 1,374 will be paid. But, but now yes. the, the question is 1,374, uh, that must represent um, a, a drop in the ocean in, in terms of the artists that, that need money right now. You, 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 are, you are spot on. This industry, the cultural and creative industry, employs 1.3 million people, according to the studies done by the South African Cultural Observatory. So to get 2,486 applications, because that was the number of applications that were received, to get only 2,486 applications shows that we have not touched the surface, you know? But or how is that the possible? How, how, do, how is that possible? It's access. It's basically what it is, is access. It means a mother from Umkanyagute in northern Natal who's weaving baskets. When there's a call like this, she has no clue how to, uh, how to respond to the call because, first of all, it's online, it's digital, it's computer-based, yeah. it's technology. It does not speak to a mother who's weaving a basket in Umkanyagute. It does not speak to a, a mother who's doing traditional wear in Umkanduli in the Eastern Cape. So, so this, this, this cancel, we need to look at how do we create access that everyone at the touch of the button using these smartphones can apply. Yeah, but, but presumably now the 300 million is, is up. What happens now? Um, can people still apply? Uh, is there some hope for, for some more funds? Th this particular um, PESP, uh, the deadline was 27th of November. And it was due for completion end of December. So this one is something that is out of, out of our hands. All we are now needing to do is to make sure that every applicant that has been approved and have, have signed their contract is paid as speedily as possible. That on the 31st of January, I mean of March, we press that button. That's the last person that we are paying. And then right. only then, only then as this new council, we can now look at, by the way, what have we been appointed for here for the next four years? Because... The, the PESP is an anomaly. It's not part of your no, uh, standard uh, uh, NAC mandate. It is something that was supposed to be done to provide relief, temporary relief. We still have our work that cut out for the next four years. Yeah. And unfortunately, it's March now. We have not even looked at what we've been uh, brought, brought um, here for, other than putting out fires, understandably so, because the industry is frustrated. All right. Uh, there, there is so much frustration. Thank you for clarifying that. And we will hold you to that and, and see what happens at the end of March. Are these beneficiaries paid? I think you said that there will be a publication showing who got what. And, and then we can put to bed those serious claims that we heard earlier from the artists um, of corruption, not only uh, just stupid mis mismanagement where, where more applicants uh, were granted than, than the money in the kitty. Thank you for your time, uh, Mr. D uh, Dr. Sipo Sitole, uh, a member of the National Arts Council.